Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Shipyard Champions. My challenge this week is to design a ship of my choosing and battle against four AI ships. The winner is whoever sinks the most ships the fastest. The twist is that you must first spin the wheel of unfortunate twists before you design your ship. Um, I get to decide range, year, weather, nation, time of day and if unlock is on, but I'll only design one ship and fight against four AI designed ships of the same class and type. So, um, I'm going to go with a 1930s Italian battlecruiser, and that means that the Austro-Hungarians are going to get four battlecruisers. However, before I design my ship, I'm going to have the Wheel of Unfortunate Twists. So let's have a look at that. So this is the Wheel of Unfortunate Twists. We're going to click to spin it. Let's see what sort of evils Bro Silly has selected. Minimum speed. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> Auto design a ship. You can only change one of these things armament guns, protection armor, or propulsion speed. Um, I'm reading this as, since there's commas, one, one, or one, so I can change the armament slash the guns, the protection slash armor, propulsion slash speed. Okay, so, unfortunately, I am not actually designing this thing. I am auto-designing it, and then making do with an idea uh, of what the AI considers to be a ship. Alright, so, um, considering time is of the essence, I'm going to not put the starting range at 30,000 meters. I'll put it at like 15. Uh, weather, I will... Whatever. We're going into a stormy weather. Why not? It's going to make for a very interesting battle. Daytime, uh, nighttime random battle. This is going to be an absolute... Mm, challenge. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Design ship... If only. Here comes the legendary auto design. Let's see what sort of Italian ship the AI is willing to throw together for me. We can go up to 60,000 tons. Oh, sorry, no, we're looking at 60,000 tons. And I should have adjusted that slider before I actually hit that because I can still go higher with this. What are we getting? We're getting dual barrels. What's that? 15 inches? Nope. It's rewriting again. I can't interrupt it either. That's long barrels. That Oh, God, no. 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 What the hell is this? Like, why is my turret facing forward? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go over to Diana. We have a trained crew, 73 seasoned, very good. Many bulkheads, she's uh, reasonably quick. Lower draft, wider beam than usual, speed. Diesel engines, that's pretty good. That means they're not as likely to fail. We got a Krupp 5, look at that. anti torp 4, Babette 5, triple hull bottom. This thing is pretty, pretty heavily armored. Pretty well, does it? Well, sorry, it's pretty well protected. We fire TNT 2s. Uh, we got capped ballistic HE shells. G how much do you do? At short range, which is probably the only range at which we'll see the target, we're going to be absolutely blasting them with HE and probably overpenning at least one ship and potentially several with AP. The challenge is going to be, considering that we're in a storm, to first spot the ship, and then if the ship decides to pop up right next to us, bring the turrets to bear. Because we have a turret rotation that is not going to be very good. 2.74 degrees per second means that if my guns are facing the wrong direction, I'll need, a, I'll need about a minute to swing them all the way around. That's a lot of time. Okay, uh, we do have auto loaders, which helps. We've got Generation 3 radar. And the armor scheme is actually not horrible. It's actually not horrible. 
We're getting 17.7 inch guns with a 1% length. Like length bonus. 12% um, shortened barrels on the 7.1s. That's that thing. You got a couple of 8s which have slightly less range. You got a couple of 4s which have 10% more barrel length. The AP and HE on these shells is pretty respectable for a 4 inch gun. Yeah, I like it. Look, I would not design something like this. I do think it is interesting. Now, I can adjust one of three things. I can adjust armament, armor, or speed. Um, well, it's slash speed slash propulsion. So, let's say this, ta this plus that. Um, armament and guns, or armor and protection. I don't feel like I need to touch the protection side of it too much. Potentially change the citadel? But I would have to balance it out by giving it less armor. I might actually take the protection side of things, because if I can reduce the torpedo blister a bit, I'll be able to add more armor, because, well, if I'm spotting the enemy at really short range, I don't think the armor is going to matter that much anyway. You just don't want to get flash fired, for example. But the flash fire chance of this ship is 9%. Hmm. It's not great, but I won't get it a heck of a lot better. Yeah, we're going to stir it here a bit. We're going to switch to modern one. Um, let's go for turtle back. It's too heavy. Reduce the torpedo blister. Increase the anti-flood. Reinforced bulkheads too is fine. Uh, I got almost nothing to replace this with. I need to tack on more armor. But I can remove stuff from the deck. Because I don't expect any deck shells, really. Doesn't mean it won't happen. It's just not as likely. The bow is a bit heavy. I don't think I'm going to be able to balance it out very well. Let's go to the... Whoa. Um, can we get eight? Because we got 162% modifier. Which is a lot. There. <clears throat> I think this is... Yeah, this is pretty much done. Well protected conning tower. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So this is Diana. She's gonna go right into a storm. Where she'll face four enemy battle cruisers. The challenge is gonna be spot them. Eliminate them. And get the best time. No worries. As for wind conditions, uh, straightforward, plus one for sinking an AI ship, minus one for losing your own ship. The enemy has been detected, well, well had been detected, a range of 16. Yoink, that was pretty close. Because we're in a storm, we can't go very quick. Wait. Oh, we're still boosting, okay. My concern is that the enemy ships are going to be very close together and are potentially going to be operating as one big block. Like one high let's high end power group. One detects me and everybody else opens up. Now yes, I did just disable the main guns for the simple reason that I want to have a pretty decent chance of picking the right ammunition and if the ships get lit up and they're about to if they get lit up and I don't have the right ammunition selected and I might be able to pen these with ease or not I want to know about it okay no visible torpedo launchers on the deck 
It has eight 12 inches. That's not good. Because that is a very quick rate of fire. And by the looks of it, they might have done something to the barrels to shorten them. Okay. Range, five clicks out. Oi, 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 oi. I can pen 17 inches of armor, which probably means I cannot pen the belt. Or sorry, the bow. But the alternative is AP, which can pen about 79 inches of armor. But it's a really well-angled belt. So we're gonna go with HE. Any port in the storm. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. The game has its issues. Graphic detail? Not one of them. Alright. Diana? Go boom boom. 84% chance! Go on, make something hit. Please, because they're going to have a really good chance to hit me too. And I'm not broadside yet, but I'm not far off. Come on, get the bow guns involved. Don't tell me they're reloading. Because they're not. Oh, you're going broadside? No, 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 don't hurt me. Doink, flooding. So far, not terrible. Not terrible. But the fact that my main guns won't fire is not opportune. Switch to armor piercing. Fire. Please fire. Shoot! Thank you. Go on, murder this thing. Yes! Yes! Insta-kill! That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. That was 6700 and then 3800. And I think that sealed the deal. Main belt, pen, twice. Okay, so that's one-fourth of their firepower just eliminated like that. Now I gotta sit here reload for 50 seconds. Okay. How, though, was that overwhelming fire? Because I hit the main belt twice. Ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Jeez, ow. I'm trying to reload my guns here. Calm down for a second. Three kilometer range. Come on. Do it again. Oh, it's not gonna hit. It's not gonna hit. Shit. I do have to stay bow in. If I go broadside, I'll not live for very long. I need to get full identification on this ship. Oh, it's gonna get tight. It's gonna get really tight. <clears throat> doink, 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 doink. Everything bounced. Wait, did I lose a stern turret? Oh, that was something else, like a... A 7.1. I can live without a 7.1 inch gun. Now. Would you kindly open fire? Switch target. Seeing as you're not doing it. Yeah, that looks like it might hit. Yep. But not nearly as much damage as I want. All back emergency. I don't want to have these guys flank me. Okay, what are we looking at? The Navara. Spacious quarter standard bulkheads. No serious malfunctions here. Pretty quick, normally. Not right now. Chance to pen me. Unknown. Armor belt. Substantial. Fore belt and aft belt. Is... Like 17 inches or so? 18 inches? Very high amount of superstructure. Armor, that is. They do have torpedo launchers. 
Mounted port starboard. Size? 18 inch. Not a threat. Okay. So how do we kill this thing? Went the rudder the other way. Yep. No! Oh my god. No. No. Plus one point for sinking an AI ship. Check. Minus one point for losing your own ship. Jack. Net score? Zero. Damn. That would have been fun. I wanted the Diana to do very well. I want to retry this. Of course, I won't get any different points. My score is effectively zero. But I want to get another go at it. The thing is, the enemy's probably going to get different battle cruisers. Because the AI likes to regenerate these things. It likes to turn them into something different. So, that is going to be a new fight against a new enemy. Okay, here we go. It took the AI a while to craft the enemy battle cruisers. So I'm really curious to see what we're going to find. What is going to come out of this storm? What sort of threat has the AI created? Normally, if you're just having them generate one class, they're pretty quick on the draw. This time around, it was not. Can we at least get a radar ping? Ten clicks out. Where are you? Oh. There it is. Instantly the main guns open up. This is exactly why I wanted to control the main guns myself. Enemy contact five kilometers ahead. Hold back emergency. Slow this ship down. What are we facing? Facing fighting. Uh, Twelve point fours, eight of them. No visible deck-mounted torpedo launchers. Doesn't say anything about the subsurface ones. Targets turning broadside. Engage with armor-piercing shells. Chance to hit about fifteen percent. Fire when ready. Ooh, partial pen. Against a fully broadside target. And you could withstand 17 inch. At 5 kilometer range? That does 78%. What? That's. Scary. That's. That's scary. Go HE. Hit him. That's more like it. Fire and flooding. I think in the previous battle, like the first one, had I actually done a battle in daytime, I probably would have won it. Because I would have been able to spot the enemy, and I would have been able to outshoot them from longer ranges. Still, I could have been flash fired. It seems to happen a lot. Kaiser class. 40,000 tons of displacement. Speed not relevant. Armor... Yeah, not as good as the predecessor. 12.4s that reload in less than 30 seconds. You can't pen this, can you? No, you cannot. You got your work cut out for you. You got damage and stability for days. We're going to switch to the different no target here. Santa Lucia. Gonna fire AP again. Because your armor is good, but it's not that level good. Although you got a 5 inch armor belt. First inner belt. Holy crap. Yeah, that'll slow my shells down a lot. Locked. Chance to overwhelm the crew? Not likely. Spacious corridors. So 
I cannot take the crew out. I might be able to overwhelm the damage control parties by setting enough fires. It's not a great option. Oh, we're going to switch targets now. What made you decide on that? What the hell? Forward. Find me something to shoot, because apparently I have been detected. This kind of can be indicated by the constant stream of shells. What the hell? We're, <laughs> We're shooting a target there and there. My ship seems to know what to shoot. I have no idea. What? Oh, flooding. These weather effects are interesting, but they're not exactly flashed out by the looks of it. Hold back, emergency. <clears throat> Here's my concern. We're spreading out the damage between too many ships. These ships might have damage and stability. At this range, it doesn't mean much. Like at long range, if you're able to disable the enemy ship by just having them drop their accuracy down, that works. But I'm now seeing still an accuracy of 60%, so it's not adequate. I need more. Go forward. Potentially being flanked. I don't like that. We got the Kronprinzessin Erzherzogin Stephanie. When she seems angry. Hold <clears throat> back emergency. Come on. You can hit a good many things, so long as you don't disable my mains. Yeah, that's decent. Not good enough. Diana, don't turn broadside. Okay, full ahead forward. We're getting some floodings in, but I need more. I need an actual kill. And with that battle cruiser on my flank, I feel very insecure. Turn quickly. Oh boy. I haven't flash fired yet. But I believe it might happen. Come on, take this one out. Please cut their firepower down a little. Flooding. 4%, 3%. 3%, 2%. 1%. 1. Sink. Thank you. One down. My ship appears to have a lot of casualties. I hadn't even checked that. I'm going to be surrendering soon. Yeah. Ah. Interesting challenge, this one. So, let's say the rerun pretty much ended the same way in defeat. Because had this one been the main, I would have had a point, And I would have still gained no points. Because I lost my own ship. Anyway, um, good challenge by Bro Silly. I really enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to try this for yourself... I will link the Wheel of Unfortunate Events down below for you. Because there are other events that can happen to you. So, you can pick the wheel yourself by going to the link in the description. Or by clicking any of the other links in the description. Which will take you over to, for example, Bro Silly himself, Brother Monroe. And of course, all the other content creators. And see their unfortunate events. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon for more.